Hi, this is Phil. This is your first time with Plan Plus Online. You'll quickly learn that you always open the account in the home page, here at the home page tab. And in the home page, well, there's a lot of functionality. So I want to quickly show you some of the things that, that are fun to do and exciting in terms of getting a hold of your missions and goals within Plan Plus Online. If you look at the home page quickly, you'll see that you have the task area and the calendar. Of course, both of those areas speak for themselves, but how you use them is what I want to show you here. Now, if I zoom in here and we look at the task list, there are five tasks that I've already set up here. And if I look at any one of these, if I hover over this, I'll get some information about the particular task and the due date. Now, the one that's in red, you notice here, if I hover over this, you see that it's in fact overdue. That's why it's red. But also, if I look over here, here's the status of each one of these tasks in this particular dot, if I click there, shows that this one's in progress. I can also have some other status choices here as well. The other thing that's very important, I just click down, is the ability to, of course, add another task. So if I click here, I can add another task. Any place I click in this whole task panel allows me the opportunity to add another task. So let me quickly here add another task. Now that I have a task, I can edit the details, of course, or I can just go ahead and save it to the list. And an interesting thing that is very powerful to do is as I look at the calendar and I consider some of these tasks, I might want to take one of these tasks and move it over here and create an appointment. So here on Thursday, or better yet, let me move this to Friday afternoon at 3.30, review the sales report. So I can drop it right in here, go down here and see that in fact I have created a, an appointment here on Friday the 3rd from the task that resides up here. So the task is still whole, but I've created an appointment around that task. One of the most powerful things about Plan Plus Online is the ability to organize these tasks. So if I click in here, this ABC icon, come over here, now we're in the Quick Prioritize tool, and what we've got here are all of the tasks that have not been ranked. Now I did that purposefully so that you can see how this particular tool works. So I've got three columns. I can organize, organize all of my tasks now as A priority, B priority, and C priority. And also within an ordered rank within each one of those priorities. So let me go through the tasks just as, I, as they occur in this list. So meeting with the web developers. Well, that's unranked. It's also overdue. And I believe I've got to get that taken care of. It's overdue. Let's put it over here in the A priority area. So it becomes an A1. Here the office award. Well, that's important, but I can still... Uh, have some time to get that taken care of. So let me put that here as a C priority. Prepare for the build. That's very important. So I want to put it back over here as an A. Inventory of the videos. That's also an A. I've got to get that done. So I've got a lot of things that are very important and urgent at the same time. And then complete my Q3 report. Lord knows that's important. Let's put it over here. and It'll be the only B item. So I'm starting to organize now. I'm not completely done. The inventory of the videos is, in fact, one of the most important things. So let me really quickly jump it to the top of the list. And you see I have that dynamic capability to move things around with this list. So if I had a lot of unranked tasks, this would be very powerful for me to get a bird's eye perspective of all of the tasks and all of my commitments. Now also, if I, I'm dealing with this particular task that I know to be overdue, if I wanted to, I could move that up into the calendar and it would create a new due date for that particular task. I want to do that right now. You can do that for yourself, but just remember that that's there. I'll show you how to do this on the front page. I'll go ahead and close this window. Here's all of my tasks now that I have now ordered by virtue of the fact that I went through the prioritize tool and I ordered them properly. Now, one thing I want to do quickly is I've got the meeting with the web dev team. It's already overdue. You know, they called and canceled. They wanted to do it next Friday. It's still an A1 or an A2 rather, but let's put, move over here. And on Friday the 10th, I'll schedule that. Well, it's going to go away because now it's scheduled for Friday the 10th. So it's now no longer overdue. It's also not even on the list because I don't have to worry about it until next Friday on the 10th. So a very nice way to handle the tasks in that regard. The last thing I want to show you here very quickly is how to create a status. Now, as I'm working through here, if I get the in, the inventory, the videos inventory, I'm going to go ahead and say, and that's completed, right? So let me go ahead and click that as completed. And well, what does it do? It drops to the very bottom of the list. Well, that's very rewarding to see now 
as I work through my day, here I'm going to say that I've completed my, complete my third quarter report, things are now dropping to the bottom, and those that remain float to the top. So another, again, a very powerful and dynamic way to march your tasks through your day and your week with Plan Plus Online.